Hi everyone, welcome to Shoshpar. Our platform is open for the admission of WBCS course. If anyone is willing to join us, they can surely do. Even you can follow us on Facebook, Telegram, Instagram, YouTube. And if you want to contact us, the number is given below. So today's lesson is on synonyms. Let me tell you the meaning of the word synonym or the term synonym. Synonym, word that has the same meaning or another word. Like word that has the same meaning as another word the two words basically the two words have same meanings this is the meaning of the term synonym so we know synonym has a very important very important role in our regular life it enhance your writing ability it also enhance your vocab so let us begin our first word is supercilious so we'll know the meaning of the word supercilious first then we'll know the meaning of the rest four options that is that are given below and we and we'll definitely find the correct answer or the correct word that is similar to the word supercilious so what is the meaning of the word supercilious supercilious people think very highly of themselves more highly than of others behaving as if they are better than everyone basically they are very arrogant superior self important this is the meaning of the term supercilious okay now move on with the first option that is officious officious is an adjective a person annoyingly eager to do more than is required they want others to follow their opinion not even having not even having the real power like this people tends to do more work than they are asked even they expect others to follow their rules or to follow their opinions or suggestions even they don't have the high authority like sometimes uh, we see in our regular life like few employees in an in our office they seems or their attitude they behave in such a way as if they they are the real boss of the office but no they are not so this kind of people are we we called officious this is an adjective we can use officious has no link with the word supercilious so no officious is not the correct answer let us move on with the second that is superficial okay superficial has different meanings first meaning is area like superficial is also connected with the with area surface and it is only connected with outer surface like outer surface external surface something occupying externally okay surface a place the second meaning of the term superficial is a person never thinking about things that are serious or important like a a person who is very casual in everything and the third meaning of the term superficial is appearing to be real or important when this is not true or correct okay let me give you an example on this third meaning like there are two cars they belong to same brand they also more or less look similar but their functions are different like the interior gadgets are different between the two cars so yes they have a bit of similarity a very bit of similarity that is they belongs to a same brand like we see right like audi launches many new versatiles of cars with new variations new functions yes it's more or less same like they have a very little bit of similarity which is not that important this is the meaning okay this is an example so superficial is also ha- it's also having no connection with the term supercilious so superficial is not correct let us move on with the third option that is delicious okay delicious is very familiar with everyone we know this term delicious very like very common yes when we use the term delicious when we see tasty foods in front of our in front of our eyes like if if we see biryani in front of our eyes it will bring thrust in our selves right we will want to have that biryani right now if we smell if we get the smell of the biryani we'll imagine how it looks and how its decorations and all so yes delicious is something very tasty delicious 
so delicious and superficial is absolutely very incorrect having no connection between them so let us move on with the last option that is haughty yes what is the meaning of haughty haughty people look down on other like haughty people basically do not respect they don't give respect to others they disrespect others they are very arrogant haughty people are unfriendly they too consider themselves better than other people even they also consider themselves superior than other people like they are the uppermost so haughty and super supercilious is very connected like we know right supercilious people are very arrogant they only think about themselves and they think highly about themselves and haughty people also consider themselves better than other people so yes haughty and supercilious have a connection between them so i think haughty will be the right answer let us see yes see haughty is the right answer so let us move on with the second second question okay there is a sentence the serenity of the place overwhelmed me okay let me first tell you the pronunciation of the underlined word that is serenity many of you miss many of you can mispronounce this word as serenity s e r e n i t y but no this is not the right pronunciation the right pronunciation is serenity serenity okay s e r e n i t y i know after r there is a e but we'll pronounce it as a serenity okay what is the meaning of the term serenity let me tell you it means calmness peacefulness quiet tranquility these are also the synonyms of the word serenity you can also use this in your writings calmness peacefulness quiet tranquility tranquility t r a n q u i l i t y tranquility okay now let me tell you the meaning of the sentence the serenity of the place overwhelmed me now what is overwhelm me like a soothing place that is giving a relief a mind relaxing a heart relaxing a soul relaxing that is amazing a mind blowing like this complete environment relaxed me or soothed me in such a way like i'm so i'm so uh, glad to watch this environment like it's like awful image okay a wonderful image this is the meaning of the sentence like the environment overwhelmed me or the subject in such a way that like it, it the subject almost lost his or her word that is the meaning of the term serenity and the meaning of the sentence let us move on with the first option that is noiselessness noiselessness is like a place which has no noise no absolutely absolutely no noise but you might say ki noiselessness is the right option but no maybe the place has no noise a vacuumed noise but that doesn't mean the place will be beautiful like the place should soothe our soul no the place might look ugly okay fine it has no noise but the place might look ugly so noiselessness is not the right option here look on with the second option that is calmness yes calmness is the right option as i told you serenity directly indicates calmness peaceful soothing so calmness is the right option here but still we need to go on with the other two options that is isolation what is the meaning of the word isolation isolation means loneliness alone segregation departed lonely people what is the meaning of the term uh, seclusion seclusion means privateness keeping oneself away from others like isolation and seclusion is somewhere connected like isolation means something lonely okay lone lonely departed alone seclusion is privateness like a someone do not want to be in a gathering he or she just wants to give themselves a place like 
occupying their own heart okay privateness they they want their self place so this is the meaning of the term seclusion isolation and seclusion is more or less similar so yes let us check the right option c as we know the right option should be calmness so this this is for today thank you